Hey guys, another video from Gotta Play Them All here. If you enjoy this video or learned something from it, consider liking it and consider subscribing for more videos on all sorts of different games, tips, tricks, tactics, and gameplay videos. Um, today I want to show you how to use um, JS GME um, Jonesoft generic mod, uh, generic mod enabler to install, enable, disable, and and such uh, any mods for Silent Hunter 5. And of course, this works exactly the same for uh, 3, 4, and 5 as far as I know. And it's used for a lot of other games. Oh, I'm on the wrong mic setting. Sorry, guys. That should sound much better. Anyways, so um, this is, this is uh, JSGME. You want version 2.6. So to get that version, simply just open your browser and search up um, JSGME 2.6. Actually, I think I had downloaded to mine. It's available all over the web. It's used for a variety of games, but since we're talking about Silent Hunter, um, it's available at subsim.com, so I'm going to click on the second link here. And then it has uh, the download link right here. So if you click on that, you get the download uh, page for it. You have to sign up to download at subsim, but um, it's available all over the web. Just make sure you're getting uh, version 2.6. So download that. I'm not going to download it to use up more of my um, daily daily um, usage, but once you've downloaded it, open it up, it'll be a .rar like this, or sorry, I guess a .7z, a 7-zip, so you'll need a 7-zip or a WinRAR to, uh, to, to use this. So all you do is open up the main folder and then drag all of these files and including the mods folder into your core silent hunter 5 folder this is the one that contains the silent hunter 5 um the sh5.exe folder it contains the data folder it contains the support folder your your root folder so you want to you want to take that and drag and drop it into into um into that directory and then you'll you'll end up with all these files and the mods folder obviously in your root directory now to install mods you have your mods folder so when you download a new mod i've got two for example uh depth keeping problem by the dark wraith and uh critical hits torpedoes 1.1 so the first thing i do when i download a mod is just double click on the folders and make sure it's got the data folder in there and not say like a mods folder or something in that case you would need to go further into into the directories but you want to make sure that the second the second folder in the the next directory up has um, the data folder. So going back, we want this folder into into our mods folder now. So again, this is just the mods folder that came with JSGME um, that's now in the root folder of Silent Hunter 5 or whatever game you are using. So you simply just same as before. You just drag and drop it into your mods folder. Same with uh, something like this. I would double I would double click on a folder, make sure it has the data folder or whatever other folder it would have modifying the game, and I would choose the one I wanted. In this case, I'm not using UHS, so I would take HB, and same deal, I would drag and drop it into my mods folder. Now to enable and disable mods. Uh, it's generally suggested to do this um, well you have a game saved in port for a lot of mods but generally you won't, won't run into issues especially with silent hunter 5 anyways you just open a jsgme.exe and you have all your available mods all your installed mods on the left hand side here so if you don't see your mod here then you obviously installed it wrong and i would go into the mods folder and make sure you don't have a second mods folder that contains one of these folders in that case take that folder out of the mods folder and bring it into this mods folder you've uh you've uh you know, the directory you set up was obviously wrong but most mods are set up so you just drag and drop the folder that you get when you open the dot rar dot zip or whatever right into your dot mods folder right into your mods folder that is 
and then you just select the mod you want and you press this button here to enable selected mod and if you have a mod on this side that you don't want you just select it and hit disable selected mod and if you want to disable them all you hit disable all mods now when you enable a mod uh, what order they're in can definitely make a difference. For example, a lot of these, um, only one mod can, can modify one file at a time. So if I was to enable real environment revision three, for example, and tried to enable it, you'll see that these files have already been altered by, um, by these mods. So if I enable real environment revision three, I'm going to get these files from real environment revision 3 modded by it and any other files will be from these mods here the fx update the depth keeping problem and the interior mod so those ones would have all their files still working however these files over here would be replaced by the real environment revision so Sometimes you have to play with the order in which you enable and disable them and usually um, the thread will tell you which mods they're compatible or not compatible with but usually um, if you do a little bit of just critical thinking you can you can figure out if a mod is going to work or not with other mods usually they'll all work together as long as you put them in in proper order. So that's really about all there is to it. Once you have them enabled like that, you can close it off and then you just start up your game and your mod should your mod should be working from there. If you have any issues, just let me know. Um, I know for example, uh, when I was first starting out in Silent Hunter 5, it was an older version of JSGME and uh, it wasn't working so well with a lot of mods. So the 2.6 version, the most recent version, they're, they're not really, they're not updating anymore, I don't believe. Um, it, it works just fine. So yeah, that is really about it. So again, if you have any issues, just let me know. Again, if this video helped you or you enjoyed it, consider liking it and consider subscribing. Again, for more gameplay, more tactics, more tips and tricks, more help, and all sorts of other videos from the team here at Gotta Play Them All. See you next time.